Actually, I have uh, been diagnosed with endo stage four in 2014, but I'm sure I had endo symptoms at least 10 years prior to this. The doctors wanted to give, so operate me, give a surgery, because um, it was a tissue growing from the upper part of the vagina into my intestines. So uh, my uterus and um, my ovaries at the beginning were still okay, but because of this surgery, it would mean that I wouldn't be able to uh, get pregnant anymore, and also there could be many other things that would go wrong during the surgery. So, um, and doctors kept telling me that I'm not able to have kids. <laughs> and um, when I believed them and stopped using the protection, in a week I got pregnant, unplanned, unexpected. And this was for me even a bigger shock because it was, uh, I was not prepared for it. I didn't plan it. I, at the moment, that moment didn't even want it. And uh, I was, having in my mind questions like what's going to happen with my body, what's going to happen with the baby, how will I give birth, um, what will happen happen then later. Yeah, I was living in a fear, anxiety, depression for two weeks, I think. Um, but then I just let myself accept uh, the situation and see where the life is taking me while having no control anymore. And the pregnancy was amazing, very beautiful. I had a C-section at the end of, because of the endometriosis. And the first year I was, yeah, not sleeping a lot, <laughs> but you know, I had no symptoms. Then the symptoms came back and the, then the next two years, it only got worse and worse. In the beginning of 2019, so a year and a half from now, before now was uh, when I was so bad again that I really wanted to do the surgery. But my doctor said that she would only do it if it was would be the question of life and death, because there was a possibility that my intest intestines would shut, would be closed because of the endo tissue. And if this would have happened, I would have like 24 hours to get to the surgery, otherwise I could die. New fear, new depression, and she asked me to go abroad to find some other doctor to do the surgery. I knew from the very beginning that I don't want the surgery because I don't want to be cut in such a big way, honestly. And also the, the pain, before I had a lot of different chronic pain, bladder pain, leg pain, hip pain, um, uterus pain, back pain. Um, I couldn't, I was not able to go to the toilet. I had blood on the stool, so I could not walk. Um, I was bedridden every month for a week or two. Uh, I barely walked the other two weeks. Honestly, uh, because they have told me that probably one, one surgery won't be enough. And they didn't give me any hope or whatever after the surgery. So many other things could also go wrong during this surgery. And um, it was then when I had also a lot of other issues in my life, other challenges. And I was seeing that my life is only going downwards and uh, that I have to just stop and make some big changes in my life. I was so happy to be able to continue to the end of us, um, what is now called Academy, so the Foundation and the Advanced Program, where very soon my anxiety, fears, also a bit later anger and um, every other physical, sim physical symptoms disappeared, honestly, actually facing my fears facing my personal obstacles to be and express myself. So it was not a lot about um, structure or anything like this, but more about just finding my inner, inner peace, inner, my acceptance of who I am, what I have to share, 
uh, about uh, exploring my energies, my parts, <laughs> emotional, honestly, because there was a huge growth um, happening during the coach training. It was, I think it was the first part, the preparation for, for the second part where we did a lot of practical work and it was much easier for us to work with other women when we already knew who we are, what we can share and when we were, yeah, like I've said before, trusting ourselves enough that uh, just uh, being and being present is enough. Also, one session is different to the other, not, it's not only one woman different from the other. And just um, exploring myself during the sessions and um, giving parts of me, giving my different energies um, the possibility to be heard, to be explored. I think this was for me the greatest growth. Uh, um, this weekly Q's and A's or meetings we had all together because I think each week we there was a big shift during each meeting also learning from other co uh, coaches was very important for me it meant a lot to me that people I study with or work with uh, believe in me and support me the way just the way I am. It was amazing to just have the power to evaluate uh, myself. This was what gave me a lot of power and confidence. Um, <laughs> I love the way that this program is holistic in a way so that it addresses all the different aspects of our lives. Not only the food and the products, um, but also the relationship, the energy, emotions, past, uh, traumas, you know, so many different things. And um, now in the coach program, I think I also have not only discovered what my life purpose is, <laughs> which is amazing, but also grow in some other aspects of my life like um, I started to recognize my different skills my different talents um, I'm enjoying life more now I have more I have clearer goals I have more I have more um, um, will and power and energy to do things have I have um, I have so much support, honestly, that it feels like I can do whatever I decide to do. Uh, but I don't regret the time, the money and the energy I put in because what I live now, it's what I've always been dreaming about. Um, any, any kind of will, need or whatever to support other women on their road to help and feeling better then just do it because it really is uh, something different this program is much different than anything else i have done as well it will help you not only do the job but it will help you grow tremendously and connect to yourself in so many different ways you cannot even imagine right now <laughs> It feels amazing to do the things I do now and uh, I just I wouldn't change anything it was a beautiful path a beautiful road of um, self-exploration and self-growth of yeah learning to do new things learning new skills to to face your fears if you're ready to go a little bit from your <laughs> comfortable zone and um, if you're ready to go and explore yourself in great depth I really and of course share all the knowledge with other women I really would love to have you 
as a part of the Endables coach team. 